Okay, so today I just came out of my house and we got this old running gear from my grandpa and we are going to take half of a grain bin that me and my brother tore apart and we are going to take it and turn it into a deer stand. Here you go. So we have got the bin on the top of it now. Now we're gonna we're gonna put a uh, plywood on the bottom here, and then we are gonna cut some holes in the side of it to make windows and put a door in it, and then we can take it to the woods. Okay, so this is our bin that my dad wasn't using. So me and my brother cut it in half, like I said, took all the bolts out, and me and my grandpa and dad we had some old boards whenever we they were two by tens whenever we took down the old building here and some four well six by sixes actually six by sixes that we put on this old running gear and actually it worked pretty good because we didn't think the running gear was all locked up and it didn't actually steer well i started pulling it in, around and it started to steer so it'll work way better to pull through the fields. Then we just put them out there and then cut them off. Right there, cut all them off. I had a sawzall and my grandpa had a better saw. Cut straight. All right, will be stuff. Right, will be drill. I actually had some Milwaukee drill bits. And yeah, I think it's gonna work pretty good. We'll tow it with the side by side. And here's my sawzall. Okay, so here's my sawzall. It's my own sawzall. I really like it. I cut down trees, I cut down all kinds of stuff. And I was using it to trim those boards off. And here's my dad's saw that he was using to trim the boards off. We like Ryobi stuff. We have all kinds of Ryobi stuff. I have a blower, weed whacker, and all that. This is part one. We will have another video on the green bin when we cut holes in the side with either a grinder or a torch. And then we will be hauling that to the woods and see if it works good. Thanks for watching. See y'all next time.